younger people and so on and so forth, right? I would say an evangelist is a person who is able to give the gospel to all, all ages, ages, to all ages. That's how I would call an evangelist, to all age groups. Because that is the gift. You see, remember, salvation is of the Lord. When we talk about an evangelist, an evangelist having the gift of giving the gospel, what it means is that he is able to package the gospel that is so apt, that is so pertinent to whatever groups that you put in front of him. You give him a group of taxi drivers, he can reach out to them in a very wonderful way. You give him a group of scientists, astrophysicists or professors or women or children, he knows how to reach out to them and package it at all levels whereby they all can grasp the gospel at their own level. That to me is an evangelist. Yeah. The packaging of the gospel to reach out, explain it in a manner that the people understand. So, uh, as uh, I mean, uh, when we go out packing, um, I don't know whether you all have difficulty reaching out to a certain group of people. It seems like we all try to reach out to all different levels of people in society. Yeah. Um, but, um, anybody have issues uh, reaching out to, 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 to children or elderly? Now, language cannot be helped. All right, that is a limitation that is very hard to bridge. That's why it is good if you can have in your pocket different tracks of different language. All right, God is not going to suddenly and then you can speak the language after that taken away after you finish. That does not happen. So you go to study hard and learn the language. Okay, so that one I wouldn't say it is. Uh, you don't have the gift of, event, of evangelism because language is different. We are talking about a person who can present the gospel in the language that he can speak, but in an ability where the gospel is very clear to all age groups. He has the ability to do that. That means he can come down to any level to explain the gospel and to make it very alive and very pertinent and very vibrant. Now, to children, you really must know children. That's why, to me personally, I think for every believer, you have to be jack of all trades, master of one. And the master is to be able to give the gospel. Jack of all trades, it means know a little bit of everything. It's very useful. Very useful. Let's see, if I want to talk to a group of basketball players, I better know a little bit about basketball. If I want to talk to, about the, to some soccer player, I must know a little bit about soccer. I don't have to play soccer, but at least I know who are the famous ones are, the good ones are. So at least you can have some conversation. You must know about the football or whatever ball. Then you can use that as a stepping stone to preach the gospel. Two, you must know what are the things that interest children. So it's good to know what things that interest you and use that as a way to get their attention and then share the gospel. You know what I mean? Now that is what the Apostle Paul is very good at doing. Right on the spur of the moment or I call it spur of the moment. He came to this place in Athens, right? The whole place was full of idols and then he saw one without name. I said, then he used that. I know the name of this God that you worship. And then he used it as a springboard to give the gospel message in the book of Acts. When he preached to Jews, he used the Old Testament scripture. To Gentiles, he never used Old Testament scripture. He used the gods that they are all familiar with. This God, you have no name. I know the name. Let me tell you the name. And so they all were very interested. Hey, all of us don't know the name. You know the name? And then from there, he started explaining that. He's not saying that God is an idol, you know. He's just using that as a stepping stone to give the gospel. And that's what we have to be, try to be. That's why it is good to know a little bit of everything. That's why it's very interesting that if you talk to people, people are specialists in dentists or whatever, it's, it's nice to talk to everybody who specializes in something. And when you do that, you must know that people like to talk about themselves. Okay? So people like to talk about what they are good at. So if you are talking to a dentist, find out everything about dentistry. Because you may never know when you will need it and use it somewhere along the line. So when I met this young girl who is now doing her PhD, I think she's doing 23, 24, doing her PhD in genetic engineering of plants. So I talked to her and tried to get as much information about plant life. So she knows a lot about plants because this is her specialty. 
And then the Bible has many things about plants. You know what I mean? So you ask and you find out, you talk to people, you never know when it will become very useful in the ministry of evangelism. Yes? What is the purpose of the uh, pouring out of the Holy Spirit during the Pentecostal time? Is it to unite the, the apostles, I mean the, the disciples together and all those various groups? Because they speak in various tongues once the Holy Spirit was given. How much time do I have? <laughs> That's right. It's 3 o'clock. Uh, I think 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock already. That one is the book of Acts. I, I need know. about 15 to 20 minutes. Because you say about the... Uh... That is not very pertinent to this one. Uh. That is different. Uh. That is the doctrine of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Can women... Okay, can we use the word preach loosely like we are preaching the gospel? Can. A lot depends on how you do it. Uh. Yeah. But yes, it's, uh, it's a very broad and general usage of the word, not an issue. Um, by contracting people that come for tracking, some of them are burdened for tracking. Is it a calling or...? You see, tracking is only one of the ways where you can evangelize. Yeah. It's not the only way. To me, the best way is your life. The best way is begin with your children because they see your life the most. Your tracking is more to strangers. strangers. Yes. So there's another branch of it, another aspect of it. It's not the only way. So it's important to share the gospel. Correct. 